In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a vectorized SVG file on an iPad. We'll be laser cutting straight from the iPad so there is no computer necessary. We'll be using the app called Affinity Designer, which is a one-time purchase of $21.99 from the App Store. The first step is to create your design on the iPad. Now I'm on my iPad and I'm selecting the Affinity Designer app. And for the document type, I'm going to leave it as device. We're going to add a new layer by clicking on the plus sign and then vector layer. And then I'm going to click on this icon with the three circles and I'm going to rename it to cut. Now I'm going to create all the parts of the design that I want the Glowforge to cut on this layer. I'm going to come over here to the toolbar on the left hand side and select the brush tool. And then the brush options will appear on the bottom of the screen. And then I'm going to click on width and change my width to 5. Click on the stroke icon and then move the red bar all the way over to the right. And now I'm just going to start drawing. Now to edit the shape of a brush stroke, we're going to want to double tap it with the select tool. And the select tool is on the toolbar on the left hand side and it's the very top icon. And then double tap on the stroke. And that's going to show all the anchor points of the stroke. And we can click on any of these anchor points and adjust them. And then I'm going to continue drawing with my paintbrush. Once I'm done with my cut layer, I lock that layer and create a new one for all the parts of the design that will be scored. And then I draw those parts in blue. Now I've locked the other two layers and I'm creating a new layer for the engraved part. Alright, so now that I'm done with the design, there are a couple of things that I still need to do to be able to print it on the Glowforge. So right now, if you highlight everything, you can see that the design is made up of all these individual strokes. So what we need to do is outline the strokes and then combine them into shapes. So I'm going to do that layer by layer. I'm going to open up my layers panel and I'm going to lock every layer except the cut layer because that's the one that I'm going to start with. I'm going to go up to the top left and click on the icon with the three dots and then under operations choose expand stroke and then I'm going to click on that same icon again and then under geometry choose add. Now if I zoom in you can see that all those different strokes were combined into one solid shape. And now I'm going to repeat those steps with the score layer and the engrave layer. So right now all these shapes have fill colors and no strokes and what we want to do is remove the fills and add strokes. I'm dragging and selecting my design and then I'm going over here to the toolbar on the right and I'm going to click on the black circle at the top and the circle at the front is the fill color and the circle in the back is the stroke color. So I'm dragging the fill color to the back and that flips it. So now there is stroke and no fill. Now I'm going to repeat those steps with the other two layers. As you can see there is now these double lines and that's not good for a laser cutter file because the laser cutter will just go over everything twice. So we need to delete these double lines and I'm going to start with my cut layer. First I'm unlocking my cut layer and then with my select tool, I'm tapping on that cut layer and then going up to the top left and clicking on that three dots icon and then choosing separate curves. So now with my select tool, I can tap on that inside line and then click the three dots icon and select cut and that will delete that double line. And now I'm going to repeat those steps for all the score lines. And for the engrave lines, I'm going to leave them how they are because the shapes shouldn't be an issue engraving. Since these blue lines are one solid shape, not separate lines, what I need to do is select my node tool, which is the second from the top left, and then double click on an anchor point. And then at the bottom of the screen, tap break. Now I'm going up to the top of the shape and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to double tap on this anchor point and then tap break. 
With my select tool, I can now tap that part of the shape that I want to delete and hit cut, and that will delete it. So I'm just going to repeat those steps with the rest of these. Alright, now with those double lines removed, the design is now ready to be printed on the Glowforge. These are actually going to be earrings, so what I need to do is resize my design to be smaller and then duplicate it so that there's two. Once you're done with the design, you'll want to export the file as an SVG and then upload it to the Glowforge app for printing. And we can do that all straight from the iPad. Go to the top left and click on this icon that looks like a document with three dots and click export. And then I'm going to leave SVG selected, and I'm going to click on the file name and rename it. And then I'm going to leave the rest of these settings the same and click OK. And then I'm going to click Save in the top right. Okay, so now I need to open the Glowforge software. So I'm going to open up my browser and then go to app.glowforge.com. And then I'm clicking on New Design in the top left. And then I'm choosing Medium Maple Hardwood. And now I'm hitting the blue plus sign at the top and then Upload and then browse. And now I'm just selecting the file that we just created. All right, so now I'm highlighting my design and dragging it over to my piece of wood. Over here on the left-hand side, we have our layers. And I'm clicking on the first one, which is the feathers. And these are gonna be engraved. So I'm gonna tap engrave, and then I'm gonna choose my settings that I use for earrings, which are a speed of 1,000, a precision power of 60, and two passes. Now I'm going to click on the second layer, which is our score layer, and I'm tapping on score at the top, and I'm going to choose my score settings, which are a speed of 225, a precision power of 1. And now for the cut layer, I'm choosing cut at the top, and then my cut settings, which are a speed of 189 and full power. Alright, so now I'm ready to print, so I'm going to go up to the top right and click print. Now we just need to hit the glowing glowforge button to laser cut the design. Uno, dos, tres.